everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video and today I have a very cool vlog in store for you guys as today we're gonna be going up to Indianapolis. We are gonna be doing a ton of stuff for this video and to cap it off tonight, the main purpose of this video, we're gonna be going to the Pacers versus Timberwolves game. For this game, I have got the best seats I've ever had at an NBA game as we are gonna be only three rows up from courtside seats. So we're gonna be in the third row of the lower deck. We are almost courtside for this game. We're just a few rows up, as I said, from the courtside seats. There's like three rows of courtside seats and then uh, we're in the third row of the lower deck. And I'm super excited. As you guys know, I'm a Pacers fan. This is the second game we're going to. Now, right now it is very early in the morning. We're about to leave for Indianapolis. As I said, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff before the game when we get up into Indianapolis and then tonight for the Pacers and Timberwolves game. It's gonna be a very cool video and it's gonna be a fun day. I need all you guys leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button. The Pacers have won five games in a row. Hopefully they can make that six tonight and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna go ahead and head to Indianapolis right now. They're not here yet. Daisy's gonna be going over to uh, my family's house and spending time with Bo while I'm gone. Uh, we're about to leave for Indy. It's around a two, maybe two and a half hour drive, depending on how traffic is. By the way, um, so about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, it was literally 80 degrees. Then last week, even Friday, got down into the negatives. And now today, apparently, it's supposed to be back up to like 60 degrees, even though it's kind of cold right now. But that's Indiana weather for you. So everyone, we have officially made it here to Indianapolis. We're actually in Keystone, which is a northern suburb of Indianapolis. And we're here at Sky Zone. Uh, originally, I was coming here because it, we came here a few months ago and it was a different uh, trampoline park. And I honestly liked it more than any Sky Zone or trampoline park I'd been to. And I literally just arrived and apparently it's now Sky Zone. So I guess the place went out and Sky Zone took it over, but yeah, we're gonna go here, then uh, probably go to the Fashion Mall after, and then to downtown Indy. Okay, so we're on a super trampoline. These, like, you go so high, and I'm about to, like, fall off. I'm not gonna jump into the foam with the camera. That's a disaster. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm already kind of exhausted. We're here at basketball, though. So we're heading out of Sky Zone. I stayed for probably around 45 minutes. I don't know why I thought I heard someone walking by. I'm telling you this, trampoline parks are so much fun. I don't care what you say. But now we are heading to the Fashion Mall, which is about a mile that way. Then after that, we'll head downtown. So I only stayed in the mall for a little bit because we didn't really have too much time. We have around four hours till game time and I'd rather just uh, get downtown pretty fast and just hang around there till the game starts and there's a ton of stuff to do downtown anyway. So uh, we're going to go ahead, leave uh, northern Indianapolis, head towards downtown Indy. So I'll see you there. As you see, we have made it to the parking garage right next to Gainbridge Fieldhouse. 
There's an amazing view of downtown here. The plan is right now, uh, we're gonna go into Gamebridge Fieldhouse uh, to walk across the street. I may go into the team store, may get something, I'm not really sure. We're in Gainbridge Fieldhouse um, right now. I'm just walking through the stadium to get to the other side of it. Uh, I think once we get over there, I'm gonna go to the mall and then walk around and explore downtown Indianapolis for uh, the two hours I have until uh, we have to come back for the game. Okay, we just left the team store. I got a few things I will show you once I get back to the car because I'm taking these back since I don't want to carry them the rest of the day. So to start off with, we got this Pacers keychain. This was only a few dollars and my old keychain actually broke a few days ago. So we got a new one. Uh, then we got this. This is actually for my dad. Um, this is a really cool shirt. And this actually right here feels like an actual basketball. So really cool. And lastly for me, I got this hoodie. I wasn't originally gonna get anything, but I saw this hoodie and I was like, yep, I gotta get it. This is fire. It's like some cool like art design with the word Pacers. We've now made it to the other side of the stadium and I am walking to the mall entrance. When we get in there, I'm probably gonna get some food because I have not ate today and I am very hungry. Oh my gosh, I literally did that last time where I went to like the side thinking that was the door. Hello? We're climbing the escalator to go to the food court. So we got some Subway for my uh, lunch slash breakfast slash probably dinner. I think right now uh, we're gonna uh, leave the mall and walk around downtown. We now have around an hour uh, till we go back to the stadium. And actually right over there is our hotel that we were um, stayed at a few months ago. Oh wow, that's cool. They got it kind of like a Christmas tree. There goes motorcycle men. Right now we're in the circle. That looks real cool. You got the Salesforce building. My goodness, that is tall. And there is Lucas Oil Stadium. And there's some guy working all the way up there. Hang on, wait a second. There's a guy working all the way up there. Oh, that's cool how they have all the trees and like blue lights and stuff. At the top of the stadium lit up blue and yellow time where we're going to the stadium and we'll be allowed to our seats in around 15 to 20 minutes. So we have made it into the stadium. So these are the seats for the game. We are literally almost level with the actual court.
Okay, it's down to 10 with five minutes left. Oh my God. Well, Minnesota's up 16. I mean, just gives Miles the ball every time. Oh my. Uh, that's probably game. So, the Pacers lose 115 to 101. That snaps the five game winning streak for the Pacers. And the Pacers are 0 2 when I've been here. Great. But it was a fun game and a fun day. Okay, so we made it back to the car and I'm about to head out. Uh, don't think we're going to be making any stops on the way home, so I guess we have around a two and a half hour drive uh, back home. So it is the next day. We made it home at around one in the morning and that's going to be all for today's video. It was so much fun going up to Indianapolis for the day and going to the Pacers game. It would have been a lot better if they'd won, but either way, I had an amazing time at the game. You guys know I love going to the Pacers games and we're going to be going to a lot more throughout the year. It was also very cool to see Miles Turner go off in this game, scored like 35 points. As you guys know, Miles Turner is my favorite player and he hasn't played the last few games we've went to and in this game he scored like 35 so that was really cool make sure you guys leave a like on this video also make sure you guys comment what was the best play from the Pacers game and lastly make sure you guys hit the subscribe button we have some of the best videos and channel history coming out soon the month of December is going to be probably the best month in the channel's history when it comes to content so get ready for that make sure you guys are subscribed but that's going to be all for today's video thank you guys for watching hopefully you all enjoyed but Till next video, see ya!